Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We have discussed a lot about how to create voice AI agents on phone calls. But in today's video, I'm going to tell you if you have an agent, it can be a voice agent or a text agent, how you can actually embed that on your website so that there is no need to link a phone number to that agent. And without doing so, you'll be able to offer the functionality of that voice AI agent to your customers directly via a website widget. So let's jump right in. And we are going to do it with Vapi, which is the most popular platform out there for voice AI agents. And if I open my dashboard right here, if you want to have an overview of how Vapi works, you can check one of my other videos. But in this video, we'll straight away go to assistants and go to any one assistant of mine. And I'll quickly show you how to configure the assistants as well. So there are a few things that you have to keep in mind to start with very basic thing. First up is provider. So I usually recommend having OpenAI and I personally use GPT 4.1 mini as my model of choice. And this is something that you can decide according to what you want and how you want the agent to behave. So I'll probably have this agent wait for the user, right? And the first message could be, hey, thank you for nicking. How can I help you today, right? And system prompt is very variable. It depends on what kind of website you're having, what kind of business you're having. And you have to define your system prompt accordingly. Let's say we are having a personal website. So in that case, I'll probably add a system prompt like, you are a helpful assistant a of a website. Your job is to politely ask user their question and answer according to the following details, right? And I'm going to give it details like, this should this should be your knowledge base and I'm going to just point some pointers like the name of the owner is Rish. We offer services like custom voice AI agent development, automations and anything that leverages AI with businesses. We offer one-on-one -on -one consultations as well. Okay, this is done. And if you can't answer any question or the user asks something out of the scope of this, just point him to this address and I'll put just an example like that, right? Uh, you are only allowed to answer on the topics above. If the user goes on any conversations around that, politely decline to answer. Okay, so this is good. If you have a knowledge base, which usually people have, you can include those files in the form of text or map down let me show you and this is the documentation of knowledge base so wapi supports uh, all these formats so whatever information you are having or the company docs you're having through which the agent should answer any questions you can include that as a file inside this and then you don't need to even give this knowledge base as a prompt i'm just showing you how you can do it with a simple example right uh on the voice i usually choose uh deep Ram. That is the program right here. I choose stereo. Aura 2 is what I prefer. I don't want to have background sound. Transcriber, Digram, EN, Nova 2 is fine. I, You can have tool calls as well. So you can connect your calendar with it so that if you have something like showing up an appointment or figuring out a weekend time that people can sign up for appointments for. You can add a tool call right here which will give the agent the power to call that tool and process the results, right? Uh, this is something we don't want. Summary, structured data, all of that is all good. Widget, yeah. So this is what we are after. You can also go to widget from here, like that. And now we're gonna customize it, right? So the customization is actually live on the Vapi dashboard. So I can choose from chat or voice. And the best part is the same agent configuration will work in both of this. Change the appearance. So you see on the bottom right is the live preview how the agent would look like. And if I change it to light, it will change. And I can choose the layout to be compact or tiny. Or I can choose small, medium, compact, full, whatever. Right. So and I can also choose the CTA button title. So let's say. I would say AI agent and this is a chat placeholder which will open up if we have selected chat as an option, right? So, and these are the terms and conditions. You can have all these depending upon what you want as your terms and conditions. And in this, this one is an important part. So even if you have deployed this agent on your website, you can simply change the assistant ID. And if you make a new assistant, that assistant ID can be configured with the same deployment 
with just this change. You don't have to change anything else at all, right? And the settings could be same for chat and voice. So if I choose voice, uh, there are some more settings. So you can have like tiny, compact, full. In the tiny section, you can just have one like odd with that. And everything else is almost the same. We just have a start end call and a voice empty message and a voice active empty message. This is not really required. Now, let me show you how to actually deploy this. So let's go with chat first, which is easier. I'm going to copy this widget and I'm going to go to CodePen. And CodePen is just a very simple representation of how you can deploy this code to any WordPress or custom website or whatever you're having. This is a very simple way to just show you how to do that. So you simply put your HTML code inside the index or the home page code of yours. And immediately you will see that this AI agent widget appears, which will appear on top of your existing website. And if I start talking to it, it will first ask me to accept the terms and conditions. I accept it. And now we can just start chatting with this agent. So we'll say, who's your owner? And it's going to reply with what we have established in the agent prompt. And let's say we ask, what do you offer? Yep. So it's staying on the course. And let's say I ask, can I have an appointment? Yep. So it's doing all of that. The only thing remains is that we can connect our calendar with the agent using tool calls and then it will also be able to schedule those appointments for us. Now let me make this chat agent into a voice agent itself. So I'm going to go back to widgets and I'm going to customize and use voice as this. And that's it. I'm going to copy the widget embed and I'm going to paste it right here. And immediately it should change it to a voice agent instead of a text one. So if I press this, this should be opening a voice call with me. So let's see. Okay. Hello. Hello, how can I help you today? Hey, who's your owner? Our owner is Rish. How can I assist you with your AI needs today? Uh, what is exactly do you offer? We offer services like custom voice AI agent development automations, and anything that leverages AI to enhance businesses. Additionally, we provide one-on-one -on -one consultations to understand your specific needs and tailor solutions accordingly. Is there a particular area you're interested in? Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Have a great day. Yep. And this is how you can actually add a speaking agent inside your website without the need of linking it with a phone number. And that's a super simple way to connect Wabi voice or text agent in your website. And every single conversation that is going to happen on your website will also be there in Wabi logs for you to check it out or do any other automations to send the transcript or summary to your email or Slack or Telegram bot using N8N or anything like that. And to check that, just go back to Wapi dashboard and press command K and search for logs. And this is where all the logs will be present. And this is what our recent transcript was and the recording has been, which we just did with the agent as the widget. So if you like this and want to know more about Wapi and voice AI automations, there's a playlist right here on your screen. I'll also give a QR code that you can scan and directly schedule a consultation call with me if you want to have more advanced AI automations deployed for your business. That's all for now. See you in the next one.